awkwardly fitting that we talk about grief here and losing your children and I'm talking about the loss that my children experience, which is a very different perspective, but it is um, very real. And also, you know, when you think about what came out of that, and we haven't shared this yet, then it will all make sense to the audience here listening to our story, to our things that we share while we are having this conversation. So, yeah. yeah. And, and I I feel like, too, I can relate to you so much as a mother watching mm. my own kids grieve their brother. It's not dissimilar yeah. to you ha- watching your kids grieve their dad. And that yeah. was one of the hardest parts of the whole grief journey is watching your children hurt. I mean, it's, mm. it's it, incredibly horrible to lose them. And I know you don't have that experience, but it is also so painful to watch the pain in their eyes and to watch yeah. them go through this grief yeah. journey. And, and it's hard to know how to guide them and, and mm. what to do. So I do really can certainly relate to you as a mother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so, it is it is certainly quite a journey, you know, for all of us. And uh, it is just something where I also want to put a little disclaimer out there. And this is something that I have learned over the last couple of years with the work that I do. And only through another parent that I talked to that I have put in my movement who has lost his son, did I finally have that or find that permission within me to take off that social label that we put on, that it is there is no worse experience than losing a child. This is a very subjective label that society put on as a general. And uh, mm-hmm. it is so dismissing other people's grief as well and it's so stopping some of the parents who actually want to heal i think we need to let go of these labels what is the worst and what is the best or easier or less easier and i'm saying that with a whole lot of respect for all the parents that have suffered through this that have experienced this this is not to be disrespectful this is to open ourselves up to the opportunity and to the possibility to heal something that society has told us all our lives is impossible to ever heal. Mm -hmm. And that's that's all I want to say here. And this comes with a whole lot of love. This is not disrespectful to any parent who has lost a child. And as I said, I only feel that I have the permission to actually say that as somebody who hasn't lost a child because I work so closely with people who have lost children who have told me that from their perspective, who are people that have healed. So I just want to put this out there as it is possible and as a as an act of hope to not restrict ourselves that we can't ever heal from this because I believe that we can heal from whatever we put our minds to and whatever we open our hearts to. 